Praise him, family. God bless you. God bless each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise him, wonderful Savior, almighty God. How great thou art. How great your name is. Amen. We're getting ready to get onto the Holy Ghost Airlines. Amen. Getting ready to get onto the Holy Ghost Airlines. Amen. So we're asking God to cover us, to protect us, to lead us, to guide us, to sanctify us, to wash us, to redeem us. Amen. If any of us has been sold into slavery, we're asking God to buy us back with his blood. Amen. His blood seals every transaction. His blood is potent enough to buy us back. Amen from the hands and from the jaws of death praise him does that sound okay does that sound good you know god speaks to us every day you know uh if anybody has sold us without our knowledge without our input amen we're buying ourselves back not with money but with the precious blood of jesus it seals the deal it seals the contract amen once the blood is presented, the enemy has to back off. Once the seal of the blood is on you, the enemy has to back off. And so we are, we are buying ourselves back from death, from sacrifice, from the slaughterhouse. Amen. My God, the redeeming blood, it has power. It is potent. It causes us to be free. In the name of Jesus, and that is the blood that we are utilizing this hour. Not animal blood, not human sacrifice, but the ultimate sacrifice, which is, listen to me. This was a sign to let you know by the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on the cross that what is now, there will and there are and there is going to be wicked people on this earth. Amen? Because what is now, to pay for everything, to pay for anything, he sacrificed himself, which was the ultimate, the highest. Do you see what I'm saying? Which stands to reason that there are people and there will be people who will look for blood. It means there is something unique. There is a mystery. My God, there is a mystery. There is something fundamental, powerful. There is something awesome about blood. Human sacrifice. Believe it or not. And, and I pray in the name of Jesus that you and I will not be on the chopping board this morning. Amen. We will not be on the chopping board, on the demonic chopping board this morning. We will not be in the demonic slaughterhouse this morning. Because we are saved by the grace of God. We are covered by the precious blood of Jesus. We are secured in his blood. We are secured in his blood. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No demonic entity will prevail. In Jesus' name. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. So we are covered in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is our Savior. And he has come to set us free. So if there's any of us whose lives has been exchanged, my God, anybody who is being prepped for sacrifice, we disconnect ourselves and we remain in the land of the living. Does that sound okay? We will remain in the land of the living because that's our portion. And God hasn't brought us this far for us to become a sacrifice. He hasn't brought us this far for us to be a sacrifice. He hasn't brought us this far. For us to give in and to give up. For somebody else who has power over our lips. And our ability to declare. Amen. Nobody can silence the voice of the living God. That means nobody can silence you or, you or me. Amen. We will declare the things of the Lord. Anybody who wants to make us a public ridicule. Sister Michelle. Anybody who wants to make us a, a laughing stock. Anybody who wants to make us a mockery. We stand to oppose their plans. We stand to oppose their agenda. We stand to nullify their ability to come against us in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the devil is a liar. Nobody can tell us what to do. Amen. We are children of the Most High God and we move by the Spirit. As the Spirit leads us, so would we go. 
praise him so this morning anything which is a type of sacrifice that is being prepped in the realms of the spirit concerning me concerning you concerning your children concerning my children concerning our loved ones in the name of jesus we decree and we declare that it will not be so in jesus name because the bible says to us listen to me said we should ask and we will receive we should seek do something when you seek you will find my God, when you seek in him, he will reveal and he will give you revelation such as you've never had before. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Nobody can silence the voice of Jehovah. And nobody can silence the voice of truth. So this morning we stand together as one to decree and to suspend and to rebuke and to reject any assignment that seeks to terminate our lives prematurely. Doesn't matter. You know what? Was it yesterday or the day before? One of the vice presidents of Ghana, the ex vice president of Ghana, you know, just died. You know, it was news all over. Very sad. He was in a gym working and apparently he just collapsed. Can't explain that one. Anything which wants to take us out. If it's a health problem, I pray that the Holy Ghost will lead you to get it checked out. Amen? You, you, when, when, when the alarm goes off in your body, you will get it checked out. Amen? You will not forget about it. You, you will do what you need to do. Amen? Because the Holy Ghost will always let you know. You will always get a prompting in your spirit. Get it checked out. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you. Come on, open up your mouth wherever you find yourself. My God, allow the Holy Ghost to use your lips this morning to make some declarations, okay? He says, decree a thing and it shall be, it shall be established. Give us this day our daily bread. Whatever he's given to us, whatever he's given to you this morning, you got to speak it out. You got to release it into the atmosphere. Whatever he is filled your spirit with, you have got to declare it. Whatever he has put in your spirit, you have got to release it. Amen. So open up your mouths right now and begin to decree and to declare what the Holy Ghost has placed into your spirit. Father, I thank you this morning for ministry. I thank you this morning for lives which have been touched by the gospel all over the world. Father, those who are standing in the street corners preaching the gospel. Those who are standing, Father God, on the highways, Father, releasing the word of God into the atmosphere. Any counteractive spirit, any counteractive assignment, Father, we command it to cease and to desist in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we command, we place an injunction upon any voice that is opposing them in the spirit realm, God. We command it to be silenced. We command it to be rejected. We command it to be rebuked. We command it to be nullified. We command it shut down in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. I know in America and I know across the world, you know, there's some celebrations that are coming up July the 4th, all that kind of stuff. We pray that those who are going to be on the road, those who are going to be in the air, those who are going to be on the ocean, whatever mode of transportation that is being used, we preserve lives. Amen. We preserve lives. We are in the business of preserving lives. Amen. Even those who are unsaved, because what just now, there is a time appointed for them to get saved. Okay, so you and I are not the judge. We're just preserving their lives until they come to recognition of who Jesus Christ is. Amen. So we're preserving their lives. We're preserving the lives of our loved ones. We're preserving the lives of those who, who are yet to come to Christ in this season. And we are praying that as they embark on the journey that they're going to be going on this weekend, we pray that the hand of Jehovah will be with them and the hand of Jehovah will preserve them in Jesus' mighty name. That everything that they do, may it continuously be a blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That is the name that we're standing on. In the name of Jesus. That is the name that we are operating by. In the name of Jesus. That is the name that still has power. It still has miraculous power. It still works miracles when it is called. When that name is called, if there is a death assignment, it cancels and exchange death with life. 
And so any dark cloud, any dark mist, we're asking God to open up our eyes to walk through that darkness. We're asking the Holy Ghost to push us so that we will walk through that death assignment. We're asking the Holy Ghost to lead us so that that death assignment will not prevail because we are children of the Most High God and we are decreeing and we are declaring life. We woke up this morning with death hanging over us, but we are declaring life. We are superimposing life into that death situation and I'm empowering you this morning to stand and to decree death back off. Anything that is screaming death into your life, anything that is screaming death into your, your, your environment, your location, we are commanding it to back off. We are commanding it to let you go. We are commanding it to lose you. We are commanding it to free you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope you're praying. Open up your mouths. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this weekend. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, for the last five, six days. Father, we thank you that, God, we are alive to see this day. We thank you that, Father, we rose up in our rightful minds. We thank you that our family, Father God, is alive and well. And, Father, we have not received any bad news. So, Father, we decree and we declare that we will not be recipients of bad news. We decree and we declare that our lives will be in right standing with God. We decree and we declare that we will will become victorious in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare that heaven will be our portion. We decree and we declare that failure is cancelled from our lives. We decree and we declare that we will walk under an open heavens with access beyond Father God our wildest imagination in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? I pray to God you're praying that you're not just sitting there or standing there or watching me. There's that you've got to you've got to open up your mouth and decree and declare. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a battle of words. The world that we live in now. Notice that one of the biggest scandals that broke this year was this whole social media stuff, you know, Facebook and the harvesting of information. It's a battle of words. It has always been a battle of words. In the realms of the spirit, what is that? It is always a battle of words. It is only recently that the influx of social media has made us see really is a battle of words. If somebody wants to do something to you, watch this now. It is your information that they go into need. Whatever you put out there is what is going to be used against you. Go on Google now. Search for something. After you've searched for it, you close the page. Go back on Google. The very things that you look at, watch this now, it will start being advertised to you any page you go on to. Am I right? Did it make sense what I just said? Go and Google for something. Search for something. Sister Michelle, close the page. Go back on the page or just go surfing again two minutes later. I came and, you know, I got some shoes in Ghana. Sister Denise, I got some shoes in Ghana. And, you know, when I came to London, I just wanted to check the price, you know, the difference. So, you know, I wanted to see, okay, is it worth buying the stuff in Ghana or buying it here? So I typed in the name, okay, of the, you know, the designer, or, you know, the name that was in the shoe, the brand. And then... Up since last week, any time I go on the computer, it keeps popping up. You know, like you know, I don't know, I don't know how they call it. You know, like on the side, you know, of the pages, like you know, I, you know, I search whatever page I go into. You know, you will see adverts on the side with the shoes and the clothes by this person. Ah, that's it. You know, you know how them things, you know, them things are. It's targeted. It is what you put out there. That's what comes back to you. Oh, I just, I just, I just said something. What, what you put out there, that is what comes back to you. Is that what the word is? Algorithm. That's what they use, right? I think I've seen that word before. I never understood it though. Explain that word to me. That's what they use, right? You know now when you click. Well, I don't know about in America, but you know in the UK when. Like, because I think there was something happening. So anytime you click on it, like if you go on a search engine for the first time, it will ask, you know, it mentioned mention that with cookies or whatever. I don't really know all these jargons, but like I know what it is, but I don't really, you know, I can't explain it to you. Listen, the information is harvested. Whatever you put out there is time sensitive. That is why we don't joke with prayer. Because listen to me, when you feel tired and you feel like, ah, you know, I can't be bothered. That's the time when you need to, because listen to me, 
at the right time. You see, we need to, at the right time, that word will locate you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Jesus wasn't so much concerned about the death that he was going to die because he knew that. You see what I'm saying? That was a done deal. What Jesus was more concerned about was the resurrection. Because what is now, when he died, his voice was going to cease on this earth. So guess what he did? He spoke into the third day. He said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to rise up. On the third day, I'll rise up. So what is now? Even though to you and I, there was a vacuum. There was no vacuum because what is now? The word was harvested, harvesting, waiting for the right time to manifest. So what is now? The word located the vessel who decreed and declared that I am going to rise up on the third day. What is now? Not the person said, hey, hey, hey. Well, you know the one who said you're going to rise up? Get up, it's the third day. That is, listen to me, that's why you have got to. You have got to. And that's why I keep saying to you, live right. Do the right things. Live a pure and a clean life. Decreeing and declaring. I may not see now, I may not have it now, but I am confident in the God that I serve that there will be a manifestation. I am confident in the God that I serve that I will not die, but I will live and I'll be a matured believer in the things of God. I'm decreeing and declaring that a time will come that money will not be an issue for anybody on prayer mountain. We will not have any financial challenges because we will live for Christ in Jesus' name. I'm decreeing and declaring that Zion will align itself with the church of Jesus Christ. Declaring that a time will come that these false prophets will be exposed in Jesus' name. I'm decreeing and declaring that the saints will become wise and will flee from sin and will flee from evil in Jesus' name. Mr. Patricia, most of you don't understand where you are now. Let me, let me give you, let, let, let me give you a revelation. Most of you don't understand. Okay? Most of you, Sister Juanita, don't understand, Sister Michelle, where you are now, what just now. If it wasn't you who prayed it, it was your grandmother or a grandparent who prayed you into where you are now. I'm, I'm, listen to me. If you didn't pray it yourself, okay, it is somebody who prayed you into the position that you are now. A spiritual mother, a spiritual father, a bishop, a man of God, a woman of God. When they saw you and you was in a dark place, they began to pray. They interceded for you and they pushed you out of where you was into where you are now. And now you need to rep. Listen to me. Reason why we have a whole lot of foolishness happening. Crazy children out there is because nobody is interceding. Intercession, what is now? Get your rocking chair. That is for intercession. You sit there, rock, rock back and forth, calling out their names, wherever they are. It doesn't matter. They may have four, five, six girlfriends. Some of them will be, you know, whatever they are, lesbians, whatever it is. So start calling them, say, Father, that is not who you call that child to be. I'm calling that brother. I'm calling that sister. I'm calling these people out of this predicament, and I'm pushing them into destiny, and I'm pushing them into purpose. I know this is the report. I know this is the diagnosis. I know know this is what is being said but I know the God that I serve and he would never leave nor forsake me my God he is king and there is nobody like him so I'm pushing the church of Jesus Christ out of where we currently find ourselves out of where the people have placed my God idols and father God they are worshipping human beings as gods and father God we have turned the gospel into money into money into money but father I am I'm standing to decree and to declare that there is still a remnant that believe that the king of kings and the lord of lords that jesus christ is his name and he will show up and he will clean the church he will clean the church he will clean the church in the name of jesus and as i begin to greet you know as i begin to decree these things the things that i'm seeing 
exposure will come. Men will fall. I said men will fall. Idols will fall. My God, Dagon will fall. All you got to do is invite God. Which is now, anytime the presence of the Lord shows up in a geographical location, every idol falls and is broken into pieces. Ask the idol called Dagon. Mr. Patricia, you've heard me teach about this before. When the presence of the Lord shows up in a place, anything that is idolatry has to fall. The reason why idolatry is on the rise in the churches and all of all over social media is because human beings have been placed on pedestals. And the presence of the Lord, the genuine, authentic, I'm talking about the ones that the musicians make up and call it the presence of the Lord. I'm not talking about the one that the synthesizer makes up and people start shouting. And, no, I'm talking about the genuine, authentic presence which has come because men and women of God were not concerned about their titles. But they went down on their knees and they began to cry unto God and they began to seek the face of the Lord and his presence fell. That is what we're looking for. That is the presence that we're looking for. My God, not the one made by instruments. Not the one that was, you know, not the one that was called in by professional musicians. Not the one that was manufactured in the studio. I'm talking about the genuine. The genuine. Because when he shows up, let me tell you something. Whenever he walks into a place, <clears throat> everything that is not supposed to be disappears, vanishes. No sickness can reside in his presence because it gets consumed. It doesn't run away because if it runs away, then it will go and attach itself to somebody else, but it gets consumed. So now we're asking for things which are not God to be consumed. To be consumed. To be consumed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name in Jesus name Holy Father I thank you this hour I lift up your name I glorify you God extending your hand extending your glory extending your power father because of the mention of your name the Bible says that demons tremble the principalities and powers bow down because of who you are and i'm asking you now father stretch forth your hands and blow our minds in jesus mighty name we pray amen god bless you saints keep me in prayer okay pray that everything goes smoothly that flight immigration whatever it is you know keep changing the laws left right center so just pray that no satanic agent will be at post amen in the name of jesus in the name of jesus pray that every satanic agent gets the day of today in jesus name amen we suspend their ability and their illegal movements in jesus mighty name we pray amen God bless you. Have a blessed Saturday. It's very nice here in London. I pray the weather is nice where you are. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. If you have any questions, anything you want to know, drop me an email, okay? In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Goodbye. Receive that. I receive the covering of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name and the praise of the saints. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. It's very hot in London. It's very hot. It's very hot in London. Can't take the weather. So much heat. 
We bless the Lord for that though. Because rather it's hot than it's cold, you know. So we accept it. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. Paula, God bless you. Bye-bye. The Paula looks like I ain't seen you in a while. I hope you're, I hope you're good. So get to see you later. God is good. Love your family.